What up folks, I am Ultrazilla and this is my review of the Power Rangers Lightning Collection. Power Rangers Lost Galaxy Magna Defender. All right, my zillions, we got uh, last of these uh, second wave of lightning collection, normal lightning collection second wave figures. There is the GameStop exclusive blue Psycho Ranger and the two pack of uh, the Lost Galaxy Red and the other Psycho Ranger, which I think might be Psycho Ranger Red as well, I don't know. Maybe it's black, I don't know. Um, uh, neither of which I picked up because I'm a little iffy on Lost Galaxy stuff and I know Psycho Rangers aren't really Lost Galaxy, I guess. Um, it's, a, it's an area both, honestly, of Power Rangers where I'm a little, like, lost. I didn't really watch them back in the day, so... You know, for me, it'll be on aesthetics only. And let me tell you, this Magna Defender is sharp. He looks really cool. Um, uh, and I've read a little bit of history on him, and it sounds like a cool story within that season. You guys let me know down below what you think of the character in general. And if I should go seek out watching The Lost Galaxy, is it worth my time? You think Ultrazilla Jr. will like it? That's important, too, because we like to watch Power Rangers together. But anywho, enough about that. Let's talk about this figure. The Magna Defender comes with two extra hands. Decently sculpted, just done in black. Got an open hand here and a gripping hand. But yeah, not bad at all. We get one effect part here, done in blue. Reminds me of the generic Iron Man um, effect part that we get with everything. Very, very similar. You will put this at the end of his uh, gun, um, which we will look at in a second. Here's Magnum Defender's weapon. Comes in two separate ways. I'll show you the other one right now. It's kind of on him right now. But in this one, it's more like a blaster. I don't know exactly what this one is called. Um, I did see it <laughs> while I was reading the uh, about this guy, but like... I, it, didn't stick in my head and it's not really so important to know the name of this thing because is it cool it is pretty cool you got some gold paint here some green in the middle which looks nice a little excess gold there and then you got this like gold streak down the side which i will get back to a little thing here looks like a shotgun uh pump here which is interesting and you could take this and i believe you could put it at the end and that's not true you cannot do that oh, wait a second yes you can just gotta get it in there. There you go. So now you can blast with it. Now it looks pretty cool. Let's see how it looks in his hand. You got a good trigger hand here. Pew, pew, pew. Yeah, I think that looks really cool. I like it. In the same token, that weapon, which is hanging here on this very thin um, plastic belt, and it attaches to it there. Now this, take that off, can attach like this as well. So that's pretty cool. However way you want to display it, you can do so. But this here, uh, when it's upright, and you can see what this is, see a little bit of gold in there. It's a sword. So you get the sheath here, which is the rest of the blaster, which is cool. Uh, but it also is a sword. So this gold here, I'm going to guess you're seeing a little bit of this there. I could be wrong, but, you know, that's what I think. Um, otherwise, this is just done in black plastic, and it looks pretty much the same as the other thing, which is fine. The sculpt is good on that. But the sword is very nice. I really like it. Gold, silver, silver, and gold. And then uh, that green jewel again. Nice sculpt. Really looks great. Good. Should we try it the other hand? Let's try the other hand. This one is less of a trigger hand there. So that's how that looks. It looks great. It really does. I really, really like this sword. It's very nicely done. It's not too big. It's not too small. Might be just right. Articulation on Magnum Defender, head is on a hinged ball joint. It's a little tight and you're not getting a ton of range of motion out of it, but it's there. The ab joint is very loose. Not like super loose, but like, like it can move and that's, that's good. 
you know, it could go all the way back, go forward a little bit, and then you got that, you know, uh, waist kind of like lower joint that, you know, once you push it in, that'll work together. That's kind of cool. Uh, do be careful though, I feel like this might scratch the gold paint there, so do be careful on that. But it's good to have it, so that's pretty cool. Now these things, shoulder pads, do get out of the way on hinges. I'd be careful, it feels very fragile, um, so watch out there. Like this one stays up a little bit, but this one, not really so much. But that's fine, I don't really need it to stay up per se. But I do need it to get out of the way, so you could do the hinge swivel action of the shoulder. Um, there is a little bit of a butterfly joint, which is good. Swivel the bicep, double jointed elbow, hinge swivel at the wrist. Only by that much of a split, kicks that much forward, goes back, pretty good actually. Swivel at the upper thigh, and I do like that it's hidden within that piece of uh, you know upper leg armor. Double jointed knee works decently enough. If you could get it to do the other part. Ah, oh, there you go. It's a little bit tight, but it works. No boot cut on this guy. Hinge. Rocker at the foot. Ow. <laughs> Caught my finger in there. But otherwise, the articulation works rather decently. Well, what is a pretty, like, big figure? Taking a look at Magnum Defender fully. He looks really cool. Head sculpt is awesome. Love this helmet. Love the green jewel, really nice metallic. Got that light uh, gold and silver looking really good together. I love his, you know, uh, eyepiece goggle thing. I, I think that looks great. Gold trim, shiny black. The horns in gold look very nice. Here's what the back looks like. Done pretty well. His cape looks pretty good. Soft plastic, very nice folds and wrinkles there. On the inside, it's red and looks good. I do like how it's just a little bit folded here. That's a nice little bit of detail. It's really cool. It adds to it. The shoulder pads look good. I do like um, how the upper chest armor and the shoulder pads, same plastic, um, and it has a nice like matte look to it, and that really is good because then you got the gold around here, around on the waist, uh, the green, Jewel again, metallic, very nice. And it's less of a jewel here, but very nice with the silver around it and silver at the collar looks really cool. Silver trim here at the gauntlets look very, very nicely done. And the hands look really good, like I said before. Uh, I saw it, said, showed this before, but this is just a floating little piece here. I think it's a little bit glued on or something or it's stuck in on this side, which is fine. It allows it to hang down a little bit. I love how like his armor on his uh, legs look really nice. You can see the texture is really cool. Uh, his like Fruit of Looms look really good too. That's fine. On the back you have some silver and gold that's pretty okay. You got a little spot there that's messed up, but it's, it's on the back. And then um, looks good. The, the kneecaps look good. Kneecaps? The <laughs> knee pads look good. I love the silver trim around these. That is a nice little attention to detail. Uh, and the boots are very good. So overall, you know, you know, what's funny is like the Lost Galaxy thing, I guess it's kind of like this like Charlie Brown deal going on. Um, squiggly line Charlie Brown deal. On the regular Power Ranger suits, it looks bad, but it looks totally fine here. I love the way this guy looks. He is awesome. He's got a nice, he's got nice proportions. He's a little stocky. He's it's a really nice looking figure, guys. So, yeah, not really loose or anything. This is a good one. Along with that Gold Ranger, these two really rock. <laughs> For your size comparisons, here he is with the aforementioned Gold Ranger, MMPR Pink Ranger, Flynn from Tron, Batman, Raphael, and uh, this is a team up I really like for some reason, an alien, and Ultraman Jeed Mega Master. And my final thoughts the cool thing about this line is. Almost every figure that I've gotten has surpassed the one before it. Um, you know, obviously, you know, the Wave 2's kind of all together, it just depends on how I reviewed them. So that's not true because I did get this dude, then this one, and then this guy and Gold Ranger together. Um, so I didn't quite get them all, all at the same time. But in order of review, 
one has been better than the other has been better than the other. And that is awesome. I really dig that. Um, and I gotta say, in general, I thought the second wave was probably better than the first. Um, so that is a really good thing. And this is just like the basic wave, not the, you know, exclusives or whatever. Two packs and stuff like that. Um, you know, just the four figures. Um, but, and Magna Defender here, I think, might be my favorite. Although the Gold Ranger is quite nice too. Um, he's, this one's just super cool. It's just like, you know, so far, this is like the Boba Fett of uh, Power Rangers that I've seen. Um, you guys got a better Boba Fett Power Ranger? You like guys let me know uh, who qualifies as that because this guy is just awesome. I really love this figure. So there you go guys, nice job Hasbro. I'm looking forward to seeing what's in store for Wave 3 of the Power Rangers Lightning Collection. What would you like to see? Let me know down below and if you could please like, comment, subscribe and share. Check me out on Facebook and Instagram. Buy me a coffee on coffee if you dig what I do. Become a zillion today. Subscribe, click that bell. Till next time, peace out.